Can we rise to our feet as we welcome God's servant to us? Pastor Jeff is is a is is very close to our ministry, very dear to the heart of our senior pastor. Pastor Boaji calls him a brother. And I have sat down in his his teaching so many times. He's not just a pastor, but he's a prophet and a man of prayer. Hallelujah. So this morning, I need your expectation to be on another level. Because I got a dose of first service and it was as if I moved to a new season. And I pray that as you listen, you will move to your own season. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Lift your hands to his heaven this morning and just speak in tongues. Ibre de la bocha capie de la bocity de Bocondia. Indre de la bocha da caha. Aller Tora. Okay. Up your hands, everybody, as you sing it.
authority of heaven upon me that whatever it is that is crippling your financial destiny as you shout amen from a heart of faith I command that thing to be crushed right now in the name of Jesus whatever obstacle that has been erected on your path of progress as you shout amen from the heart of faith, I command that obstacle dismantled in the name of Jesus. Every wall that has kept you away from your next season of financial rest and enlargement, as you shout amen from the heart of faith, I command that wall to be shattered in the name of Jesus. In Job chapter 20 verse 15 He says He has swallowed down riches But God Shall cause them To vomit it Listen There are many of you who are overqualified For where you are you can peep into the future and see that that's where you ought to be. But some forces are keeping you on the other side of the wilderness. I take grace from on high this morning and I take my place in the realms of the spirit. And I declare to every cycle of losses, lack, indebtedness, financial hardship. If you can shout amen from your spirit, I command that cycle broken in the name of Jesus. Whatever is yours that has been swallowed down in the name of Jesus, I command that thing for me in the name of Jesus. You are going to pray this prayer with me, sir, in the name of Jesus. I'm sorry I can hear you say in the name of Jesus. Whatever has swallowed down my riches, I speak to you. Vomit it. Vomit it. Open your mouth in 10 seconds and begin to pray. Whatever has swallowed down your blessing, your riches, the Lord shall cast them out of your belly. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Prakato shati very in the yada. In the name of Jesus. In Zechariah, he says, I saw a guy running with a tape. And when he was measuring the tape, to determine the boundaries of people's progress. Now listen, this is prophetic. The scripture says to run after that surveyor and tell him you cannot measure Jerusalem. Because Jerusalem shall burst forth with people and with cattle. And the Lord says to say to you, a line has been drawn. For some of you, the borders or the confines of your progress have been determined in the realms of the spirit. So it's like you rise to a point and you are hitting a ceiling. You're limited in scope. No matter your skill set, your hard work, your hustles, it's like you are containerized or bracketized. You are not breaking forth. But I hear God say, it is not a mistake that you are here this morning on the last Sunday of the month of April, at the precipice of a new month. May, the fifth month of the year. And five is the number of grace. 
And I hear your pastor always holler, grace, grace. grace Means your story is a function of God's grace. So I stand as a spiritual midwife to say, many of you have been incubating and been conceived of a lot of things. And you are finding it difficult to give birth. I came to help you. That that next level, that heaven have determined for you, you are about to step into it. So the first thing we are going to address before we preach this morning is Bible says in Psalms chapter 9. I think in verse 6 it says, Oh, I think in verse 7, if you can help me check it. He says, Oh, let the wickedness, I'll come to this, but give me 9 7. He says, Oh, let the wickedness, or 7 9, just to be sure, let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end. That's the prayer I want to see. 7 9, right? That's it. Oh, let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end. So the prayer point is say with me in the name of Jesus. As this month comes to an end today. Come on, have that. You're not sounding like you're ready for me this morning. Say in the name of Jesus. As this month comes to an end today. Say this prayer. Say oh. From your depth of faith. Say oh. You are making a decree. Say oh. Let's wickedness of the wicked against my finances come to an end open your mouth and bring it to an end right now let it come to an end today it's not moving into a new mouth open your mouth and make that decree oh let the wickedness of the wicked concerning my marriage concerning my business concerning my health concerning my finances let it come to an end today In the name of Jesus. One more prayer. Now go back to 9 6. He says, O thou enemy, destructions are come to what? There's something about this service. The month is ending, some things will end. I can feel those of you at the back and those of you online. Come on now. Listen to me, ladies and gentlemen. Let me explain to you what I'm doing. Scripture says in Matthew chapter 16, verse 19. He says, Behold, I give unto you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. He said, Whatsoever you shall bind on earth is bound in heaven. Whatsoever you shall lose on earth is loosed in heaven. In other words, if you don't stop it, it will continue without mitigation or end. What you stop is stopped. What you allow is allowed. Tonight, anything that is of anything that does not resemble the grace of God, that does not align with God's purpose in your life, has to come to an end today. Say with me, oh thou enemy, today your destructions over my life, over my finances, comes to an end. Command it to end today. I end struggles. I end borrowing. I end disappointment. I end failure. I end toiling. Bring it to an end, child of God. Break it all, Shari. Parisa Lipatoyada. Break it all, Bracasoli Batayada. Bring it to an end in the name of Jesus. Jesus can I ask you a question until you are sick and tired of being sick and tired you will remain sick and tired my question to you is are you tired of where you are listen whatever you can tolerate has no remedy whatever you can bear you can't change everybody got tired before they got free until you say, say bring it down guys listen the problem with a lot of us believers is that we are too satisfied with smallness. And if you settle too soon, you settle too small. Tell your neighbor there is more. Prophesy to that person like a prophet and say there is more for you. I thank God for what he has done for you. My brother, there is more. If you are in the millions, that's what they call the multi-million. If you are in the multi-million, that's what they call the billions. 
and in case yours is in naira i have a road there is dollars and in case you are tired of dollars there is pound sterling somebody shout more you say why do we need more because there are more souls to be saved there are more churches to plant oh my god i feel something in my spirit how many of you are ready for more I see God say, there is more, there is more, there is more. Are you ready to gather your more? I'm going to shoot a prophetic arrow in your direction. Whatever it is that is stopping you, that is hindering you from stepping into your more season. As you shout, Amen, I shoot the arrow of God against it. My God. Nothing will limit your progress. No power will stop your increase. Somebody shout, ah! I hear God say, you are breaking forth to the north. You are breaking forth to the south. You are breaking forth to the east. You are breaking forth to the west. There is no stopping you. There is no hindering you. Somebody shout, ah! Listen to me. The Lord said to me, there is a couple here. You have only one child and you've been believing God for another child. I speak as a prophet. Exactly 10 months from today, you are giving birth to another child. In the name of Jesus. You've been desiring opening another branch of your business. You've been desiring an expansion. And every time you conclude, it's like there is an opposing force. I came this morning to announce to every devil that has been limiting your progress. Your time is up in the name of Jesus. I told them in the first service in Psalm 24, my God, I feel a strange anointing here. In Psalm 24, verse 7, 8, and 9, when Jesus rose from the dead, I was about to get into the heavens to offer the blood of sacrifice. The Bible says the heavens were closed, but Jesus needed to announce. He said, Be ye lifted up, all ye gates, and be opened unto me, you everlasting doors, and let the King of glory come in. Listen. They challenged Jesus. They said to him, How dare you say you want to enter? Who are you? Harusha Yadaba. And he in Akoka. If you don't know who you are, they will stop you at the gates. So he announced the Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in. Listen, that wasn't enough. Because once it's not enough, there are some situations that are stubborn you need to be persistent you need to be resilient you need to be relentless are you still with me this morning if you don't give up that devil will give up persistence we always overcome resistance he screamed again lift up your head so ye gates and be ye lifted up the everlasting doors and let the king of glory listen listen they challenged him. Who are you? Let me explain to you what it means. If you think you are going to stroll into your season of more, you're joking, man. You know why? Your daddy tried it, they stopped him. Your mama tried it, they stopped her. Your uncles and aunties tried it. Your predecessors, your mentors, guys, come on, man. They'll stop you. The reason they'll stop you is because in the realms of the spirit, they have drawn a line that you can get to this level, but you can't get past this level. That devil is a bastard. I came to announce to you whatever line of demarcation that has been drawn. Ay, 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 ay. Prophetically, you are going to take a step. Somebody shout, I'm a line crosser. You are stepping in. You are stepping in. You are stepping in. In the name of Jesus. Listen. Listen. When Jesus reintroduced himself, the Bible said they asked him, Who are you? The response was, The Lord, strong and mighty. It says, The Lord of hosts. My God. They have been challenging you. We are going to talk back to them. Listen. 
The reason is, hey, yeah, yeah. The reason is somebody help them there. The reason is not happening because in Psalms chapter 18, verse 44, Psalm 18, 44, he said, As soon as they hear of me, they shall obey me. As soon as they hear of me, they shall obey me. Madam, the reason they are not obeying is because they haven't heard. Sir, the reason you are not breaking forth is because you are not saying something. They will hear of you today. Yeah, 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 yeah. He says, strangers shall what? Submit. Why would they submit? In Psalm 63, verse 3, he says, through the greatness of your power, will the enemies submit? Tap your neighbor, say, they go submit. There is no stopping you. You are the veg. You are the precipice. The end of a month is the beginning of another month. When Jesus made the announcement, the doors were opened and he entered. I came to announce to somebody online and physically here, the doors of progress are open to you. The doors of abundance are open to you. The doors of marital bliss are open to you. Listen. Bring it down, guys. To tell you how important this thing is. In 1 Corinthians chapter 16, verse 9, the Bible says a great and effectual door has been opened. But enter now. So it's one thing, Pastor, for a door to be opened. It's another thing to enter. He says, but there are what? Opposers of your destiny. Those who are saying you are a woman. In this community, women don't rise. You are not even married. How dare you say that devil is a bastard. You are entering in the name of Jesus. I came this morning to announce to somebody, if you believe this prophet, you are entering to your new level. You are entering to your next level. You are entering to your next season. Hey, somebody help out by the power of the Holy Ghost. I came to push you. Are you ready? There is a supernatural force that is about to push you by the authority of heaven upon my life. Enter! 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 You are entering your next level, your next season. Prophetically, I push you in. Enter your husband's house. Enter marriage. Enter UK. Enter Canada. Enter US. Enter that company. Enter that space. Enter that hostage. Enter the rebel. This can go another one, no deal. listen to me i feel something here let me tell you what i feel i feel a sense of urgency what does that mean it means many of you have stayed too long at that door i say in the realms of the spirit the door to your next season be open yeah ladies 
I hear God. Your next season is your marriage. The door is open. No more disappointment. No more delay. No more disappointment. No more delay. No more disappointment. No more delay. I break the cycle of delay. I break the cycle of disappointment. If you believe it, shout it Listen. Here in the bush. Somebody holler more. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. From today, you will be a proverbial surprise. An amazing wonder. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. You'll be a living, walking wonder. A living, walking wonder. A living, walking wonder. A living, walking wonder. To your family. To your friends. To your neighbors. To your family. Ah, hey, This can't go another one. Another one. Sit down. You guys are dangerous. If I continue like this, we won't go home today. Yeah, 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 yeah. Somebody shout more. The Bible says the God of our fathers will increase you more and more. You and your children. Somebody speak to your neighbor. Say more. Oh my God, is your season of more. More. Overflowing. Never stopping. More. Somebody holler more. Welcome to your season of more. This is prophetic. Somebody help her. Welcome to your season of more. You know, the Lord just said to me that a few of you here who are under the yoke, the burden of indebtedness, you are owing. It's not because you are careless, you are an impulsive buyer. You can't explain, you are always in debt. I feel something in my spirit this morning to break that demonic spell that has been cast on you that ensures that you are perpetually indebted. Because the Bible says that the borrower is servant to the lender. You are supposed to manifest as kings and not to be like a slave, a pauper, or a servant. So I take my place in the realms of the spirit and I announce to every Karuba Shiti Yadabahanda, every demonic force that has orchestrated a cycle of indebtedness over your life. I don't know where you are seated or where you are standing or where you are watching from around the world. I command the yoke of indebtedness to be broken in the name of Jesus. Miraculous supernatural debt cancellation. Your debt will be paid off supernaturally in the name of Jesus. You say, Pastor, you don't know what you are talking about. I am owing the bank 500 million chicken change. Our God is still the owner of the heavens and the earth. There is no scarcity with God. Even if it is 5 billion naira, I see supernatural debt cancellation. You say, how will it happen? Come on now, go and ask that widow how her debt was cancelled. She met a prophet and the prophet said, do what killed your husband. The husband borrowed and died and the prophet said, go and borrow vessels. But see the difference. You don't borrow oil, you only borrow vessels. If you lack vessel, don't lack oil. And you know what I mean? Oil is the anointing. The target is the oil. Once you lose the anointing, there is no hope for restoration. Because the anointing is a yoke destroying, better than removing power of God. So go borrow vessels. Your husband borrowed and died. But you borrow vessels. But this time, you've got oil. Many of you are trivializing and commonizing the anointing. Psalm 23 says, He anointed my head with. When your head is anointed, your hands must produce. Overflow. More. So this morning, you may not see a physical oil, but something is dropping on you. Like the two of Hammond, something is dropping on somebody. 
After the first service, Pastor Bonaji said to me, Pastor, pray for my people. Break some yokes. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm sorry I didn't teach, but I'm sure you got it. It's prophetic. So don't say, the pastor didn't preach. Wait for third service. Pastor Balaji will be here, or somebody else, or I will be, I don't know. But don't worry. Or go and get the message for the first service. I think that's better. Oh, yeah, yeah. My God, you will see the wonder-working power of God. I hear it again, I hear it again. God says, tell them, surely there is an end. I hear it again. Surely there is an end. Stand to your feet and holler, surely there is an end. Surely. Surely means certainly there is an end. This embarrassment you have been going through in your home comes to an end today. Ah! I came as God's prophet to tell you that every problem has what you call manufacturing date and expiry date. If not, Navdak will not approve it. I came to look and I peeped in the realms of the spirit. And I saw like Daniel, sir, that the expiration of your trouble is today. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Meaning, I will not do like the children of Israel, whom God said their trouble will expire for 400, but they added extra 30 years. You know, God told Abraham, they will go into captivity for 400 years, but they stayed 430. If you don't stop it, Satan will bring extra. You consume expiry products, it's dangerous to your health. Today, I'm the spiritual Navdak officer. I came to tell that devil that is sitting on your shelf that the expiration of that problem has come. Shout with me, surely! There is an end! One more prayer as I take my seat. You are going to say in the name of Jesus. Today marks the end of all forms of satanic activity in my life. In the name of Jesus. Shout your loudest amen. Today, not tomorrow. Not this afternoon. Right now. Right here. Right now. Right here. Today marks the end of my crisis. Of my era. I give you two seconds. Whatever you want ended, end it now. End of disappointment. End of delay. End of miscarriages. End of failure. End of sickness. End of disease. End of rejection, end of setback, end of failure. Surely there is an end. There is an end. Stretch your hands in my direction. If you believe this prophet, there's a shift already in your spirit. Listen. My God, it's not the same you that came that is going home. I hear God say, when you get home, some of you immediately after you leave the service, right at the parking lot, you are going to get a call. And I speak as a prophet. It is a call that will make your feet to skip in dancing. It is a call that will make you holler. You will get a call from a far country. You will get a call from some places. Some of you is an email. You will see an email. Here in the bush. Here in the book on this. Brakatala vakandesh. Ekreke de lebos. An email is going to be sent. In your favor in the name of Jesus. Hirugogo alakbaralaye. 
Saloda Bire Olua Saloda Bire Saloda Bire Ele leva coxi Worship him. Isaiah chapter 10, Nelu Sari part 2, verse 14. Yes, Lord. Something is happening here. Can you feel it in the atmosphere? Am I right? My hand has what? Found. Has what? A nest. What? The riches of who? And as one that gathers, so have I what? Gathered what? All the earth. Watch the next one. And there was no that dared to move, to challenge me, or even peep to say, who is going there? It was on this verse, I got my liberty and stepped into a realm of financial dominion. Listen. Ay, 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 ay. There are some of you believing for funding in your, con your business, your next vision, your next enterprise. Open your hands. Whether it's a million dollars, ten million dollars, one million naira, funding. Some international partners. Ooh, hey, oh. Open your hands. Your hand will gather. Your hands we gather. My hands are found. These hands we gather wealth. Yes, Lord, I hear you. You know what the Lord said to me? He says, Your hands will carry what is bigger than your hands can carry. Yes, Lord. These hands of yours will carry what is bigger. From the north, from the south, from the east, from the west. Europe, America, Asia, Africa. I release finances. I release funding for your projects. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Funding for your project, for your vision. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. In the name of Jesus. Your hands have gathered like a ayakata prukushi yadash. You have gathered the riches. Your hands are worth gathering hands. Say, my hands are worth gathering hands. My hands are worth gathering hands. You will gather wealth. You will gather wealth. And no devil will disperse. No devil will scatter. Whatever scatters money from your hands. As you shout amen. That thing is rebuked in the name of Jesus. These hands of yours will not be wet scattering hands. But wet gathering hands. Wet gathering hands. I release doors for funding to open to you now. If you believe it, shout amen three times. What a service. Have you shifted? Is this your new season? 
I can't hear you. Is this your new season? Can you shout with me, Grace? Grace! Grace! This is my story. In this month of May, can you say Grace? Grace! Grace! This is my story. In the name of Jesus. Can you please help me celebrate Pastor Jeff? Thank you so much, sir. Hallelujah. Please, you may have your seats. Wow. What an unusual service. I told you. He came carrying gifts to us. And we have received it. Ask your neighbor, have you received it? So you go back home doing what? Expecting. Why? Because that call will come. That SMS will come. That opportunity will come. In this month of May, can you shout, I have received it. In the name of Jesus, as we round up the month of May, you will come back with your own testimony. In the name of Jesus, the Lord will follow. The, the signs and wonders will follow God's word. The word that you receive today, it will come to you with signs and wonders. You will not come back empty-handed. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah.